Hello everyone, this is Amy from Doki Doki Forest, and this is the wintry wonderland I woke up to the other morning. So what I decided to do was try to make a nice journal page with some snowy trees, and have the trees be on one page, cut them out, and then you sort of see the scene behind them on the following page. So I have already sketched my branches, I'm just cutting it out. I had cut it out I realized I love how it looks but it's way too flimsy at the top because I didn't leave any paper up there to sort of anchor the trees so I'm adding that back in to make it sturdier and hopefully make it so the trees won't just rip and then I realized that I had one piece but I really needed two pieces so I'm thinking of these as kind of like the clouds in the sky above the trees or behind the trees. And now I'm going to get to the painting. And of course we're going to begin with some nice snowy white paint. And I'm just putting that on. And how about you guys? Did anyone else have some snow over the weekend? Did you like having the snow? Are you annoyed by the snow? I like having the snow. I don't like the ice. That's the only thing I get worried about, but snow, I really enjoy. So I don't mind that at all. So here we go. Let's finish up the white paint here, and then we'll get on to the next part, which is, hold on, more white paint. Okay, now I'm trying some of this Lindy's spray, and I actually thought it was going to be kind of like a gold color, but it turned out to be a brown color. So it kind of looks like dirty snow after it's been on the ground for a few days, and the sand's been on it, and the car's been driving by. I tried to blend that in a little bit, and then I just added some blue spray on top of it to sort of give it some more depth and tone. I think once I combined those together, I actually really liked how it looked. I was a little worried about that brown at first, but I think it's okay. And then I realized I lost my white, so I just kind of wanted to put that snow back on there on the tops. And I'm just adding a little bit more of the bluish tone in the top. I didn't want to have like a ton of blue, I just wanted to have a little bit. Okay, and now we are on the page, the second page underneath the tree page, and I'm just adding some black acrylic paint. This was a sample paint I had received years ago, and it's very watery. I don't know if it's due to age or if this is how this paint always was. I shook it as much as I could, and it still came out watery, but it's fine for me. I don't really need it to be thick. I just needed it to be black and cover the page, so I'm all set with that. And then Lindy's spray, I added some blue, I think maybe a green, and then lastly I added um, some of this, I think it was like the treasure gold, um, I added that in there, and then just dried it because it had pooled a little bit. I dried it for the most part, still a little bit wet. Now I'm adding on some dragonfly glaze paint, which is a top coat that's really glittery and beautiful. I saw um, this being used on Little Pickle's Colorful Life's channel, and she was using it to paint a beautiful night sky. I loved it. So I'm going to link her video below, and this is my first time using it, but it's thanks to her that I even saw it. So thank you, Little Pickles. Okay, and now I'm going to add some characters to the page. So these are two of my original characters, Leaf and Acorn, and they get into all sorts of adventures together. So I'm just sketching them out, and then I'm going to ink them with a waterproof pen, so that way I can paint them. I like sketching these guys and painting them with watercolor, and then putting them on top of acrylic backgrounds, so it's almost similar to, you know, how they would make animation 
In days of old, when they would paint the cells by hand and add them on top of another layer, which would be the background layer, which was all hand painted. And, you know, most shows are done with computers these days, but I really love the look of traditional animation. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just adding some shading in. Acorn just gets a little bit of green mixed in with the brown. And these little guys are ready to have some wintry fun. And I just get my colored pencils and a little more shading is added. I gave them some rosy cheeks because you know it's cold out so they got little, little pink rosy cheeks. And then once I'm happy with the shading and coloring in the mouth, I'm just gonna cut them out so I can add them to the background. And I do sort of like to leave a white border on these guys when I cut them out. I don't want it to be, um, I don't wanna cut them like right on the black line. I, I like seeing that it's a different layer. That way when I add it to the background, I feel like I have sort of a traditional animation cell kind of feel to it. So let's figure out where these guys should go. And they're floating, so I realized they need some more snow. So here we go, we just got a few more inches here. It's coming down fast. So we're piling on that snow. And then I figured I might as well paint the other side as well, so that way it's not just brown over there. And a little more blue, just to give it a little more, um, you know, some shadows and, like I said, some depth. I don't want a ton of blue, so I didn't want to spray it right on the page, so I'm just kind of adding it a little bit. Now, colored pencils. So I'm going to add some green colored pencil here just to sort of define the pine branches that would be the needles that would be under there, under the snow somewhere. They're buried, but they're in there. So I'm just giving those some definition. some of this like opalescent kind of acrylic paint to add some bluish tones on top and maybe some shine too. I feel like it didn't quite come out as shiny as I thought it would, but I still really like it. And I'm adding some to the snow too. Then I want to add some white lines, some details of the pine needles. So I'm using this Posca white acrylic paint marker and that did the job. So now you can sort of see some little rounded pine needle branches in there. And then I thought I'd add some stars. You can't really see them too well though because of the white snow that's already there. So I grabbed my yellow paint pen, but I don't know if it was having an issue or what, but you really couldn't see the yellow at all. So. I didn't add too much of that. And now that my snow is nice and high, I can put Leaf and Acorn in there and get them playing in the snow. So we've got Leaf up there enjoying the snow falling, Acorn's down there probably making a snow angel of some sort. And that's it, our page is done, or pages I should say. We have our tree page, we open it, and there are Leaf and Acorn enjoying themselves, having a great day out in the snow, just loving it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you soon. Bye bye for now.